journalists in Honduras are denouncing an increase on repression against them. Earlier in September, journalist Donna Montoya was attacked by at least six policemen who tried to take her camera while she was recording the repression against a demonstration in the city of El Progreso. Since then, six more journalists have come under fire by the military and police. Gerardo Torres filed this report. Donia Montoya is an independent journalist that has reporting on the demonstrations calling for the resignation of President Juan Hernandez for alleged links to corruption. She has presented a complaint against the National Police for aggressions that she suffered on September 1st. While I was recording, a police officer was grabbing a protester by his T-shirt, and a very tall officer came directly to me. He took my camera and broke it. After that, another police officer tried to take it away, and in that struggle, while I was trying to protect my equipment, other officers pushed me. They threw me to the ground. I didn't know what was happening. I could only understand pain and the weight of boots on my chest and face. Since the attack against Montoya, six other journalists have suffered attacks while covering different demonstrations. For the Committee for the Freedom of Speech, this is a new stage in the attack against the press. This pattern has increased in 2015, because even though since 2009 there have been attacks against the press, we have never seen a police officer point their gun at a journalist like what happened in March this year in the city of Catacamas, or that a group of officers attack a female journalist while she was on the floor and they kicked her head. The attacks have occurred across the whole country in what looks like a disturbing trend of violence against journalists in all of Honduras. Gerardo Torres, Telesur, Central America.